Hi guys. Uh, like I always do every uh, every other year with uh, a major election, it's time for my election predictions. Uh, we have a lot to worry about for the elections this year, but we are going to do only three main things that I think are really important. Who is going to be the president and who is going to control the House and the Senate, which are, you know, the both houses of Congress. And we'll be doing that based on party. So I'm just going to do this real quick. So who do I think should be the next president of the United States? Well, I can give you this. It's not going to be Biden. <laughs> he has actually no chance. Yeah, if he became president, which that would mean that our country's freedoms would literally go away and we would become a communist country. Yeah. So that leaves Trump and third party. I honestly think that it's going to be kind of close between Trump and third party. So I'm going to actually going to go with Trump. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. If you don't like that, then you can unsubscribe to my channel. Sorry. Um, yeah. For Congress, I think that the Republicans will retake the uh, control in the House. And they'll keep the control of the Senate. So we'll have Trump as, you know being reelected for another term, so another four years of him. And Congress will be completely controlled by Republicans on both houses of the House and the Senate. All right. Thanks for watching this little snippet. Uh, I will do a election video of this election, of this year's election, obviously in the, in the election episode that goes up on the 4th of November. Right? Yeah. But we'll do the results of the other stuff as a brief overcap. More than likely, I don't know, probably halfway through November or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So yeah, that's all I got to say. And enjoy the new election episode. Do Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of the presidential elections. Today we kick off this century and this millennium with the election of 2000. And this is probably one of the most craziest elections in American history. Why? Because, once again, like before with a couple others, this election had one candidate that won the electoral college and one that won the popular vote. But as you know, the Electoral College decides whether or not if you're president or not. And uh, it was all dependent on one state. What state is it? We'll get to that in a second. So, uh, one thing I should also mention is that next Tuesday, literally next Tuesday is election day. So, yeah, next Tuesday is all you have left to... Uh, Vote for president, vote for your representative in Congress, vote for whoever you want to represent you in the Senate, if you have one, uh, any, like, governor races, state representative races, and anything else that's kind of local in your area. Yeah, that's all you're voting for this year. Obviously, the, the main one that we're, that everyone's worried about is the president. Me? It's the president and who controls Congress, which I'm pretty sure I made into a little segment in the beginning of one of these videos in the last couple weeks or so. Yeah. But uh, anyways, election of 2000. This one took place on November 7th of 2000, literally 20 years ago. You have two candidates. You have George W. Bush of Texas. Sound familiar? He was a Republican. He got 271 electoral votes. Keep that number in your head. 
Of the popular vote, he got 50,456,002 of the popular vote. Keep that number stuck in your head. And his running mate is Dick Cheney. And your second candidate, the challenger, is your current vice president, Al Gore of Tennessee. He was a Democrat. He got 266 of the electoral votes. Keep that number in your head for a moment. He got 50,999,897 of the popular vote. Keep that number stuck in your head. And his running mate is Joe Lieberman. Yeah, as you can probably tell, Bush got the Electoral College while Al Gore got the popular vote. Literally, <laughs> this entire election, like the finisher of it, literally went to the Supreme Court. Like, legit, guys. And you know what state was kind of the uh, buffer area? The whole entire state of Florida. Yeah. Because some sources said that that Bush won it. And then others were saying that, that Gore won it. It's ridiculous. But... Obviously, it went to uh, to Bush because, you know, he got the most electoral votes. Which, speaking of which, how many electoral votes did you need to win and how many were there in total? Once again, our two favorite numbers, 538 in total with seven with 270 to win. And Bush got 271, so he just barely made it. Just barely. The overall turnout was 51 Point two percent, in which it went up, two point two percent, and uh, Ohio did pick the winner. In case you're wondering. All right, thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for tomorrow when we talk about the election of two thousand four. This is when I was five years old, guys. Yeah, <laughs> little mini me. Uh, that was when I was in kindergarten. All right, we'll see you then. Thanks so much for watching. If you would like to subscribe to my channel, click on the circle to your right. If you would like to see the last series on this channel, click the square on your left. The last series done on this channel was the census. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.